these boys went through a lot on the weekend. Uh, we brought them out here wanting to see what kind of work ethic and attitude they had. Um, we actually wanted to bother them a little bit and we didn't know what was going to push uh, their, their individual buttons. You know, some guys aren't good at BJJ, so if we grind on them and beat them up in BJJ, are they going to throw a fit and, and try to hurt people? Some of the guys sparring, if we, if we pick up the pace or whack them a little bit, um, are we going to see some attitude out of them? Um, we had awesome four workouts, knowing that if we can have those 13 guys in this room with some of the special guests that come through, the coaching staff, the purpose of, of having the MMA trials here at Tiger Muay Thai, well, is to have a, a, a team. You know, Tiger Muay Thai wanted to have an MMA team and a strong MMA team at that. So we were looking for for guys that were going to not only athletic or, or talented, but that were going to be coachable and that were going to listen well. And they were also going to be, you know, they, they work well with others. Um, they're just not they're they're not egotistical. They don't, you know. The world doesn't just uh, revolve around them, that they, they, they were just going to be good teammates. First time I do this, this kind of job, and it's sometimes sad, you know, because um, you see those guys, you see like 13 guys here, and you have only five, only five guys stay, you know, and some ones you like, but you, you see that another guy did better than him, uh, you have to, in the end of the, the competition, you have to Oh, I like that guy, but uh, another one did better than him, so we have to put him out. And um, and the some ones he come to talk to you before, so he he start to be a your friend. And then after maybe he look to you like, oh, why you don't choice me? Why you don't fight for me? You know, I need that. I, I please help me. But uh, this for me that's good ex experience because I have to put my heart outside. And I have to think like a coach, I have to think who the best fight, who the gotta be the best King Tiger Muay Thai, who gotta be good here for the team, for keeping here good training. Um, it was real hard also for me because all these guys, I, I give my hats off to them. I, what they went through and what they did and how hard they pushed and uh, just to never, never quit, never die and just do as they were told. And you know, my hats off to them. very difficult on us and uh, we are very happy to have all of you back here as long as you guys want to be here again on a partial scholarship those of you guys that don't get uh, the five full scholarships um, I'm gonna cut straight to the chase it's no secret that Matt Tepa uh, after winning the Big Buddha run gets one of the scholarships uh, as far as chatting with the whole group you were sitting right there in that last Oh man, I'm just the happiest person in the world right now. It's it's uh, it seems like forever since I've uh, won, you know, achieved something of this stature, and, and um, I just can't explain how happy I am. And um, man, and, and, and at this stage of my career, I, you know, I was, as, as I was being was told, I'm the oldest one here, and um, and uh, yeah, to to achieve something like this and, and really give kickstart my my late career. It's, it's, it's a blessing, it's just um, I can't, can't explain how happy I am and, and I'm looking forward to the challenge over the next year. It's, I know it's going to be a lot of hard work, it's, it's just about to start, so, so I'm looking forward to a, a new chapter. Next up, Danny Mitchell. Very big weekend. Yeah, obviously feeling good. I got the scholarship, so uh, there were some good guys here, and 
you know what I mean, Every, everybody deserves it, really, so it's uh, it's an honor to, to be awarded it, so I'm pretty happy. All heart, no quit, you're pretty darn good on the rare, uh, MMA record. Cody Stevens. Yeah. Uh, this is amazing. Um, I just, this is one of the most rewarding things in my life. You know, uh, I've dedicated my life to martial arts and between wrestling, jiu-jitsu, boxing, kickboxing. I'm just glad that I had this opportunity that they've seen something in me. You know, I, you know, everybody knows I'm all heart. You know, I lay it all on the line every time, and uh, I'm just excited to see how my skills will be sharpened up here. I'm so thankful and just want to thank God for giving me this opportunity and giving and putting in the just putting in the fortitude that pushed me through this you know it wasn't the it was one of the most challenging things I've ever done in my life and I laid it all out on the line and I'm just so thankful and I appreciate everything next guy uh, in my opinion was probably the surprise of the entire Try out. Um, ben, you run. What was that last name, my friend? Yeah. Welcome. Oh man, I feel. Uh, I'm at a loss for it. I never expected to get this far in, uh, in this event. I, you know, from the beginning, turning in my app, I just threw it in like, ah, uh, we'll just see what happens. And it turned into this. So I'm just, I, I don't have any words to explain it, man. I just feel like on cloud nine right now. And my body feels like junk, though. Just to make this, uh, this fella nervous, I saved him for last. Um, again, I'll, I'll divulge a little bit of what went on behind the scenes with all the judges. Uh, unanimous decision. No question about uh, this fella staying. Kai Kara France. Oh, it was a tough two days. It took us through hell all day. I'm so relieved that I've made it. I'm speechless, really. I can't really describe what I'm feeling right now. I'm just glad I don't have to go back to uni next year. I can actually fight full time, so I'm just over the moon, eh? And it's sad when it comes to safe for those guys. So those guys stay, those guys gotta go. So that's. that's it's not nice, it's not nice. But uh, I think we did a good job. I think everybody happy for which, with those guys with choice. What we're looking for is, is a team, a team that, you know, we, were, we, were, we would know that these guys would let themselves get coached and be disciplined in that aspect, not come to training late, uh, be good role models for Tiger Muay Thai, um, not being, uh, not hanging out at like the lady bars and going to Batong and drinking. Because here, we, what we want is just guys that want to work, want to learn, and uh, you know, excel at, in their MMA careers. This team here has got to grow together. That's why the coach is here. We look for five guys, or these five guys who can give good support for him in, in the end of this year. Those guys look behind when he starts, when he will be there. Say, oh man, I'm much better my game now. One year here, we make a really good job.
if we can get a room of 20 guys training the way I had those guys training all the time, and um, that's gonna happen. Whether it's all 13 of them, whether it's half of them, I know we've got five, I know we've got two more coming back. Uh, I think we're gonna get at least three or four more coming back. So we're gonna have a very strong room. Uh, we're gonna take Tiger Muay Thai, we're gonna turn it into a real fight gym. Um, again, there's no denying that it's a business and it's a big touristy place and it's an awesome place to come have a holiday or a training holiday, but this is a real place to do a real fight camp. And uh, we're gonna make sure we have the depth to accommodate anyone that wants to do so.